In fact, the number of companies we have queuing up to take and pay these teacher interns is bigger than the number of interns we can provide. We want them to be literate of being able to read the room. I'm going to tell you a story about science, technology, policy. There's a concern around the world about how is it that we help young people develop in ways. The first is the technology, the second is the technology, the third is the technology. So I want to talk about the the STEM Teacher Enrichment Academy at the University of Sydney. It was um, initiated. By a donation, anonymous donor of five million dollars in 2014, and the anonymous donor thought was inspired by uh, the number of was inspired to increase the number of students to enrolling in those higher advanced studies of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And um, I don't know about other parts of the world, but certainly in Australia, we have a, a concern by the decreasing numbers of students who are enrolling in those advanced courses. The initially, the donor wanted to actually encourage or inspire students to become future scientists, future engineers. But what we have found through the STEM Teacher Enrichment Academy is that we're not just helping the advanced student. We're actually helping every single student、uh, develop the the necessary science and math skills that they can use to work、uh, more effectively in a STEM-rich society.、Right. So, how the STEM Teacher Enrichment Academy works? It combines the expertise from members of the university staff across from the, the School of Education and Social Work. The Faculty of Science, the Faculty of Engineering and Information Technology, the experts from all of those faculties, we come together and we run academies, where we invite, we, we send out invitation to schools across、uh, the state and across Australia, from remote areas to、uh, metropolitan areas, to they they have to put in a expression of interest to be involved in the academy. We look through the expressions of interest, we select schools. Based on、uh, feeder schools, we want schools that come that are linked to the neighbouring schools. So we might ask,、um, run with high schools to start with, and then we follow on with a second academy, which will be neighbouring pri elementary, primary schools, and we try to cre create connections between these high schools and secondary schools. We we run two different types of academies, where we might invite the schools which are. Might be located near near the university, who will come and do a, a two-day intensive course with the teachers to start with. We work with the teachers、um, for those two days to start. We then、uh, run separate sessions throughout the year, where we invite the teachers back. We also pack up all our experts and we fly all over the countryside, and we run the academies at in school sites around in quite remote areas around Australia. Uh, we then have a mentor in each of the schools where we they go and visit the schools and work with the teachers throughout an entire year, and so through, the teachers then will work with the mentors, developing programs with their children. The children、um, are involved in project-based <coughs> learning sequences, where the teachers have designed and that will combine the science, the technology, engineering, and the mathematics. This year, for the first, sorry, for next year, we're planning it this year. But for next year, we're actually planning a STEM academy, which is going to combine elementary schools and secondary schools together, so that the secondary schools and the and the elementary schools will be planning their projects, so that we get the transition from the teach the children going from the elementary school into the high school. Because what we found was when we were working with the high school teachers, they were saying that children are coming with very with. Um, very low enthusiasm for STEM subjects. What we found when we were working with the primary、um, children teachers was they found they said that the, the children were having this exciting experience with STEM, which was then stopped once they got to high school. They weren't getting the same、um, innovative experiences. So we're hoping that next year,、uh, in working with the two groups of teachers together, that we'll get this transition that might work. The whole goal is to inspire the next generation. Of STEM experts, but also 
the next generation of our children just becoming more comfortable working um, and functioning in a STEM-rich society. Thank you.